but I will be beating whatever I need to beat in with this, excuse me, car. Rude. I am already so excited. Hello, book reading friends. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Melanie and today I am here with a bookshelf organization video and it's about to be a fun video. I know the start is a little bit weird with a white background, a white wall behind me, but the bookshelves are already done. They are already filled with books and I do not want to spoil you until the very end. If you have yet to subscribe to my channel, don't forget to do so down below for more bookish content. I am constantly uploading videos and I am sure you do not want to miss. I am also live streaming throughout the week doing sprints and chatting with you all so again it is about to be an amazing time that none of you will want to miss and you can also follow me on all of my social medias which are always linked down below as well as my amazon wish list and without a further ado let past melanie take it away building the bookshelves with you organizing them and letting her show you the final result for the bookshelves so without further ado let's get right started all right, now I have an empty wall behind me and it is really, really ugly. But you know what? None of that will be able to be seen. It will not be perceptible for the common eye because the bookshelves will be here. But I am super, super excited to finally have bookshelves. They will be in my bedroom. So hopefully they'll look good. And I actually, I measured the wall and the Billy bookshelves, which are the ones that I got, are 180 centimeters wide. So it should leave enough space for my makeup drawers that I have right there so hopefully it'll all fit and look good you know what I was a handyman because I took this out all by myself so maybe maybe I'm just cut out for this I literally have shelves everywhere there's even some over there so it is time to attempt to assemble this all by ourselves and there is my partner in crime Chloe Am I how you lad? That looks like she's going to help me. Look at her, it looks so pretty. Okay, I'm actually seeing what I need. And I need a hammer. Do we have a hammer? I have just checked, we do not own a hammer. But I will be beating whatever I need to beat in with this. And hopefully it'll be fine. And this is just Improv 101 with Mel. Because you gotta work with what you have, am I right? And I just saw the first step that I need to do. I need to grab the little shelves first. And put in this little like wooden wooden sticks and I'm guessing that's what I need to like hammer in. So that's what I'm gonna be doing first. We'll see, we'll see, it'll be okay. I shouldn't be doing so many hand motions with this because that's dangerous, so do not attempt at home. beat red and I am sweating probably shouldn't be wearing a hoodie but that's just the vibe of the video and I have got one bookshelf semi done I still need to put on all of the shelves but I am really really excited this is so tall like look at this this is me standing against the bookshelf now the one thing that I don't know if I'll be able to do today is drill the little metal thing at the top I don't even know what it's called because I don't believe we have a drill at this household so I'm just gonna have to leave it as is for today and then figure that out maybe tomorrow it's gonna be fine it's gonna be great i am no veteran building a bookshelf and i don't know what the ratio oh my god look at that the first book in the bookshelf but i really don't know the ratio as to where everything should go i mean i know they're readjustable so that's why they don't tell you it's not their job to tell you but i wish they did though i said i was gonna count 11 so i'm just gonna count 11 and see where that takes me maybe 11 is a nice number can you tell i've never built a bookshelf in my life because I have not. Now how does the thing fit in there? Oh wait, this is golden. That's pretty cool. Okay, I had to use books to be able to measure exactly how I wanted to bookshelves. I will build the other one the same way that I built this one. That way they match when they are side by side. But look at it, it's a built bookshelf. And now I cannot wait to build the other one. It's gonna take me a hot minute, like it didn't take me five minutes to build this. Like it took me a while and 
put it side by side and then start putting my books on the bookshelf and again I don't have all of my books with me so I will have to go over to my dad's place to look for the rest of my books that way the bookshelves will be a little bit fuller and I still do think I'm gonna have a lot of free space but I just bought the full set of Billy bookshelves because like we say in Spanish mejor que sobra que falte that is where I'm at right now I am super happy I am kind of suffocated so now again I will build the other one film a little bit of that and then it's time to put the books in And these are all the books that I need to organize on the bookshelves. I still have way more books over at my dad's, but I don't know if I'll be able to pick them up today. So hopefully I'll be able to do that in the next couple of days so that my bookshelves can be complete. But let me start taking these over to my room and start organizing them because I have no idea what's gonna go in what shelf. So let's go. So usually all of the books that I have behind me in my background, in my old background, which is crazy to say, are all here on the shelves, plus all of the gifts that I received for my birthday, which were some of the books that I was the most excited for, which is insane. So I now have to figure out how I want to set this up. I am still missing plenty of books. So once I have those, I'll just have to fit them in. But I think I'm going to arrange the bookshelves in a way where I know, for example, with my Cassie Clay shelf. I'm just going to line up the ones that I have right now and once I have those books I'll just fit them in and so on and so forth with the rest of the books on the bookshelf and I think that's the way I'm gonna go about it right now and again hopefully maybe I'll be able to look for my books this weekend that way this will all be done and over this weekend because this is a lot of work okay I am hella tired my back hurts a ton so once I am done doing this I will literally not do anything for the rest of the day Let's see how this ends up looking after some rearranging. I have only done the Sarah J Maas shelf so far and I am already so excited. It looks so pretty, like it's a wild that I now have like fully fletched bookshelves. I am all over the place, look at me. I look a mess, but I cannot wait to have all of my Cassie Claire books lined up and everything. I'm just, this shelf's gonna look pretty y'all. It's gonna look incredible. is being made. I just finished my Cassie Claire shelf, not Cassie Claire, my Sarah J Maas shelf. And then up there, that's like my book of the month taller hardcover shelf. And that is also done. I have also grabbed a snack, some Flaming Hot Cheetos because it's been a long day and I deserve it. So just where I'm at. So again, progress is being made. Spaces are being left for the books that are not here, but they will be eventually. Also, look at what I did to my cover of City of heavenly fire this is the art that comes beneath the dust jacket because the dust jacket's like okay like it's pretty they're like the old original designs for the mortal instruments but this is a mean mean dust jacket okay i was checking to see if any of my dust jackets had art and this one did so look at jay's mm, and izzy we love to see it we love to see it i have also made progress in one of my bottom shelves which you cannot see but that is the romance section so i do not have that many of them right now i do have a few over at my dad's but as you know i am mostly a fantasy reader so my romance shelf will slowly be built throughout the months until it'll be a fully fledged shelf i think i'm gonna work in this section right here under my sarah j Ma shelf because this right here is gonna 
gonna be like the Lee Bardugo, Stephanie Meyer, smaller, regular sized paperback situation. I think that's what that shelf is going to be for now. By the end, I'll give you a little overview of the shelves and what they look like. Wait, Molly's calling me. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Why are you why are you in the dark? This is Molly everyone in the dark. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was literally filming as you called me. I'm trying to figure out this situation. Uh, my back hurts so much. You have no idea. It's crazy. Look at the look at that. Okay. They look so pretty. I know. Uh, it's the only well that and that. Those are like the only two shelves. This is what the shelf looks like right now. Those two top shelves don't have anything right now. I don't think I'll have enough books to fit on top of there. So I think I'll just use that for decor for now. And then we start moving down and I quite like the way that it is looking as of now. And I just put some stationery there at the bottom with all of like my annotation stuff alongside my romance contemporary novels. This is where I'm at right now. Hopefully I'll be able to look for my books soon and fill in the empty spaces. Welcome to day two of organizing the book. Oh no, I thought I dropped that. Okay everyone, welcome to day two of organize, that's four. Welcome to day two of organizing my bookshelves with me. I did go over to my dad's place today to look for the rest of the books that I want to fit in the bookshelves and display here. I did leave tons of books over there still that are books that I want to unhaul or that I just don't want to display over here. So those are staying over there, collecting a little bit of dust. It's gonna be fine, they're gonna have a great time over there. I also have my friend Pingu, el Pingu, el Pinguinito, the penguin, here chilling. Pingu was feeling, oh no, not Pingu falling. Mr. Pingu was filling in the space of the Cassie Claire books that are weren't here yet, but they are. So now I'm going to fit all the books that I brought over and I don't think I'm going to have to rearrange too much because I am liking the way that it's looking right now. Let's see how I go about it because I do have a few books that I need to figure out like where they're going to go. So the first few books that I brought over because again, the shelf was kind of empty are the rest of my Cassandra Clare books that were over at my dad's. I only had a few random ones over here. I don't know why. Maybe I brought them over because I was reading them back in the day and then I never took them back. I don't know, but these are definitely going to be organized over here in this shelf. I also brought over my Heroes of Olympus series, which when I read this back in the day, I'm not going to lie, I kind of liked this series better than the Percy Jackson series. I had such a great time reading these these. And yes, my series is not complete. I never read the final book. I don't even own it. I do know I put that in my wish list, but I don't own that physically. I've never read it. So hopefully I'll get that someday to actually finish the series because this was such a nice series. So I definitely need to fit that in my, not my bottom shelf, but one of my lower shelves where I have all of my middle grades. And all the what a goodie and books that I always forget I own for whatever reason. I also brought over the hungry games which I do have a repeat copy of Mockingjay in paperback because this was a gift and the person didn't know that I already had all of them in hardcover so I definitely need to find a place for these two because I think they fit yeah, they fit with this size of hardcover. So I don't know where they'll go. I need to figure it out. And then I brought some other random hardcovers that I had over there. And some random paperbacks, including a Carrie Diaries book that I never read. My copy that I beat up on my way here for The Second Life of Brie Tanner. And then apparently, and I never remember buying this when I was younger, I have the Twilight graphic novel in Spanish. And I don't... I don't remember this. I'm just gonna start with the Cassie Claire books and move over to the other shelves and hope that these all fit here. They should. They should fit in here. 
Hopefully. Also, what a throwback because I have the movie bind up for City of Bones. And that's how you can tell that I bought this when the movie was coming out. But you know what? People may hate on the movie, but it's still a it's still a beautiful picture. I will also never get over the Shadowhunters Codex. It's so darn pretty without the dust jacket. And then it also has illustrated end pages. They are so pretty. Can y'all believe that? I have this empty space right here. I thought I was gonna run out of space for whatever reason. Alright, so this is what the shelves look like right now. Honestly, I'm super happy with the way that they look. I think they look super pretty. I feel like everything's organized the way that I wanted it to. I just did by height because I just wanted all of them to match as much as possible. There are definitely books that don't really match in height, so I tried to pair them up with books that, again, were really close to each other. So that's what I tried to do with the shelf. And honestly, if you look at certain genres, the height of the book typically matches very incidentally. So if you look at all of my romance novels, most of them match in height and so do dystopians and so do kind of like contemporary-esque hardcovers. Again, they all have kind of the same height. So that worked out perfectly for me because all of the shelves look really pretty and even in its majority, there are some books that are shorter. But again, I don't really mind it as long as the difference is not abysmal. This is definitely a work in progress though, because as I start getting new books, I am going to implement them on the shelves. I do not plan to have a TBR cart or anything of the sort. Maybe what I will do with the very, very new books that I get is that I'll just place them in the bottom shelf because those are empty as well as the very, very top shelves. Those are empty too. So maybe I'll arrange those in the free space that I have because I do have four empty shelves, which is great because it gives me room to keep adding books as I get them and not run out of space very quickly so that I love and this is just the way that I have gone about it because I know everyone organizes their shelves differently I know some people do it by color and that looks gorgeous arranged as a rainbow there's other people who do it alphabetically there's other people who do it by genre I decided to do it by height just because I like the aesthetic of it a lot more and again incidentally genres typically have around the same height for their books so that again is pretty neat I really just go about it in the way that is most convenient convenient for me and all of this is subjective. You can just do it in whatever way you want to and I'm sure it'll turn out beautiful. This is just stage one of how they'll look like. Again, I just got these shelves so I need to get familiarized with the way that I want to do things because I have never had shelves like these before. I really do feel that I didn't talk a lot in this video. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'll figure it out in editing but I feel like I'm usually such a chatty person and I talk way too much that doing these time lapses in silence has felt so weird but I hope the end result is somewhat satisfying and I just wanted it to be a fun experience for both you guys watching and for me organizing and building the bookshelves for the first time and it is super weird to be filming standing up like I need to get used to it also I am tiny like I am five feet tall so I am kind of trying to give myself a little bit more height by standing on my tippy toes because I am 
short. So yeah, this is definitely gonna take a little bit of getting used to because I am used to sitting down in my living room, filming in that space. So now I'm gonna film everything standing up with bookshelves behind me. I am truly excited to have this space with me. Not with me, behind me. The space being here. So I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. Truly, really, it feels super weird to be leaving that background behind because I truly liked it. Like I felt like it was different to what everything looks like in booktube but I just joined the train because I am a basic ass bitch so here I am with my white Ikea bookshelves and my Sarah J Ma shelf and my Cassandra Clare shelf and it's just the way that we do things over here apparently but I think that'll be the end of today's video if you have any particular way that you arrange your bookshelves please let me know down in the comments below because again this is a work in progress this is only like part one of this organization situation maybe I'll do like a part two where I reorganize or an entire bookshelf tour that would be really cool but I'm definitely interested to know how you guys organize your bookshelves because this is just like my annotating video where I said everyone has their own particular way of doing things I'm really interested to see what that thing is if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more bookish content I am constantly uploading videos that I am sure you do not want to miss and I am also live streaming throughout the week doing sprints and chatting with you all so again lots of fun that none of you will want to miss you can also follow me on all of my social medias which are always linked down below as well as my amazon wish list in case you want to support me and my channel and gift me a book if you reach the end of the video comment down below some stack of books that way i know you reach the end of the video and bear with me throughout the entire experience throughout the length of this video which my videos in general are like very lengthy so i'm sure this won't be an exception <laughs> and yeah that's everything for today i hope you all loved this video as much as i did i have a feeling for whatever reason this is gonna turn into one of my favorite videos that I've done and I wouldn't even be mad because we got bookshelves people and yeah I love you all thank you for sticking around and I will see you on my next video with bookshelves behind me I'll see you next time bye guys